A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and presbyters, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our members who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturb your peace of mind, we have with one accord decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul. They who have dedicated their lives in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, so we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey the same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. Well, sing. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will shout your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God, above all the earth be your glory. from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. St. Augustine has a very famous saying, and it is, love then do what you wish. And that is a very dangerous saying because it's very easy for us to say, well, I love, so therefore I can do all kinds of different things. Not at all. Not at all. It's a powerful statement when it's unpacked correctly. What does it mean to love? Here's what we have in the gospel today. As I have loved you. So what we're really 
saying, what Augustine is trying to say, is if we have authentic love that mirrors the quality and the quantity of the love of Jesus Christ, then in fact what we choose to do is going to be okay. We'll be doing it in the context of sacrificial love that is always other-oriented, not self-oriented. And if we do that, then we can be and do where we are, whatever we happen to be, and it's all going to be okay. We'll find ourselves in the grocery store, we'll find ourselves in Target, we'll find ourselves in different kinds of places, in families, in relationships, wherever we happen to be. If we have sacrificial love, as I have loved you, then our choices of what we're going to be doing will be really, really good ones. So what we might do today as we celebrate this Eucharist is ask the Lord to give us that burning awareness that the Eucharist is that gift of self-love, self-giving love that we receive and that we are asked to be those kinds of people of love for others and that when we do, we can make choices that are safe, that are beautiful, and that are choices that ultimately bring healing, peace, and joy to others. So now let us stand and pray.